Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Genesis chapter 37 where Joseph had two dreams and where his brothers sold him into slavery. One day Jacob sent Joseph out to see how his other sons were doing with their job. They were responsible for taking care of Jacob's sheep. Joseph came back to tell Jacob and it wasn't good. The other brothers were falling short on their responsibilities and Joseph told on them. Jacob scolded the brothers when they returned. They knew Joseph told on them, and they added that to the list of reasons why they hated him. Now Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons or daughters. Joseph was born to Rachel, the only woman Jacob ever really loved. But now she was gone after passing away in childbirth. Jacob made a very colorful, special robe for Joseph because of his special love for him. But Jacob's other sons saw their father's favoritism and hated Joseph even more. Joseph had two dreams that he told his family about. In his dream, everyone was tying up bundles of wheat. The bundle Joseph had stood up by itself, and the ones his brothers had bowed down to Joseph's bundle. The second dream was like it. He was standing there, and the sun, the moon, and all the stars came to him and bowed down to him. His brothers screamed at him and mocked him, saying, Are we really going to worship you and bow down to you? Even Jacob said, Really, son, am I really going to bow down to you? His dad kept this dream in mind, but his brothers plotted revenge. Remember, these brothers just massacred a whole town of people. They were skilled in wickedness, and they did not disappoint this time either. Jacob told Joseph to again check on his brothers. He obeyed and went. The brothers saw Joseph in his special coat coming from a distance and came up with a devious plan. They said, let's kill him and tell our father that a wild animal ate him alive. Then we shall see what comes of his dreams. Reuben spoke up and said, hey, instead of that, let's throw him into a well and let him die of starvation. Reuben gave this suggestion because he thought he would find favor with Jacob, his father, when he rescued his favorite son. So that is what they did. Joseph came along and his brothers circled around him. They tore off his robe and threw him into a dry well. Then they went back to tending their sheep. A group of the brothers saw a caravan headed to Egypt and suddenly they had a great plan. They said, hey, let's not kill the boy, let's sell him to slavery. That group agreed and that is what they did. And Joseph went to Egypt as a slave. And when he got there, he was sold to one of Pharaoh's officials named Potiphar. Reuben returned from tending his portion of the flock and screamed, where is Joseph? The brothers told him what they did and Reuben's hopes of being a hero evaporated. The brothers killed a goat and dipped Joseph's coat in the blood. They all went back home and told Jacob, we found this robe, look at it, to see if it's your favorite son's coat. Jacob said it was, and assumed a wild animal killed him. His other sons let him think that too. They deceived Jacob and did not tell him the truth. Jacob tore his clothes, wore sackcloth, and mourned for Joseph many days. No one could comfort him. He told everyone he would mourn until he died. The son he loved the most was gone. The most important verse in this chapter is Genesis 37, 9, which states, And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is the fact that since Jacob showed favoritism to Joseph, his other sons hated Joseph enough to want to kill him. If Jacob didn't show favoritism, Joseph would not have been sold into slavery. If the other sons of Jacob were not hate-filled murderers, Joseph would not have been sold into slavery. But as we will see in upcoming chapters, God allowed Joseph to be sold into slavery in Egypt to save many people's lives. We see another example of where God used people's sins to accomplish His will on earth. 
This is a common theme throughout the Bible. Have you ever sinned against God? Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation so you don't have to pay the price yourself in the lake of fire. Scripture says that the Father loved us so much that he sent his Son to pay that price. And whosoever will believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life in heaven. Ask the Lord to forgive you and save you. Trust that what Jesus did on the cross was to pay for your sin and believe that the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Make the choice to be saved today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with somebody. See you next time.